So here you are in New York City, leading up to your birthday, honey. I know, St. Tamar's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Now you were telling me good things happen on your birthday? Magical things. Okay, so what's being manifested? What's happening right now leading up to your birthday? Well, I'm super excited that I'm putting out my first single. Yes, yes, that I had. Yeah, <laughs> How I long mean, has it been? Seven years, six years, I lost count. No, three, three years. I know, we've been wondering, because yeah. you said that there were two albums coming out. Yes. And so yes. what's the hold up, what's cooking? You got the single coming out. Yes. So tell us about a little bit of the, the vision behind this music, the vibe. Um, you know, I just had to speak about what I was going through. And is. well, I was single for a very, very long time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looking for love, being let down. Um, and trying to figure out where I fit, you know, with love. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to write about that. So love is inspiring your music. Love is and inspiring me, good and bad. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it is, that's the thing about dating, you can always get a good story. You know, you know hello, you know, thank you, you for the research, darling. Honey, there are some, <laughs> there are a lot of frogs out there. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with your music, since you're, putting something out there. Will this then, will like a full album or those two albums follow up this single? Very, very shortly. Okay. Very shortly. The record is called Changed, uh -huh. and um, I'm really proud of it because this is the first time in a long time that I've been this excited about music. Really? Yes. So yes. this phase in your life, the evolution that you've undergone, you've been working on yourself for quite some time, and I'm, when we last spoke, that was at the forefront of your mind, is just yeah. making sure that you were okay, you were being in tune with yeah. your feelings, your emotion, where you are in life. How has your music helped this, this phase of your life, this evolution, and how you're feeling? It's been incredibly healing. You know, because you know how when people are in therapy, they, they often speak about journaling. Well, this is me journaling and you know, putting my thoughts and my biggest fears or my hopes, my dreams on a piece of paper and I get to you know, verbalize it by singing. Your birthday's bringing us new music, so yes. that's a gift to us fans yes. for sure. What other good things are coming? I mean, let's just talk about love. Yes. And can we just go ahead and talk about some Queen's Court? Let's talk about the Queen's Court. Because at first I was like, <laughs> when I heard, okay, we're gonna sit down with Tamar about Queen's Court, and I was yeah. like, is, is she pulling a Judge Judy on me? Obviously I got <laughs> further into it. This is a reality a dating show. Yes. So why are you going down this lane? I feel like you just can't shake some reality TV for some reason, so why are you coming back and going down the dating reality Well, you know, I, look, I had to find Mr. Right somewhere. I'm just looking for that zing, that, that spark, something I can't shake. Damn, 21 men? You're gonna have to pray for us. We're ready. I feel like I've looked high and low. <laughs> And the truth is, I wanted to meet, you know, some potentials, mm -hmm. you know, in a different kind of way, you know, because normally in this business, you meet people through people. Yeah. And I think I don't ran out of people. <laughs> <laughs> the Rolodex is, is out, you know? Yes. You've already run through the Rolodex. Yes. So yes. here you are. You've got like this love-hate relationship with reality shows. I do, so I do. how did you fare with this one? Well, you know, I have a love-hate relationship with irresponsible reality television. Okay. Will Packer, who is amazing and responsible, and he's a producer who is true to his word. Okay. And um, so when he called me about this show, I was very hesitant. Number one, I was going to be dating publicly in front of the world. Right. Uh, number two, it was reality television. Uh -huh. But something told me to trust the process, and I've never done anything like this before. And what's the worst that can happen? I find love? Well. Yeah. Here you have it. I don't know. So, did you find love? <laughs> well, you have to tune in okay, to see. Okay, Mar, don't be. But no, the good thing about me. tuning in this time mm -hmm. is that you get a whole drop, so you get to binge uh -huh. on ten episodes. You don't have to wait week by week, Thank goodness. and you get to see right then and there on Thursday, March sixteenth, a day before our Saint Tamar's Day. I told you magical <laughs> things happen. <laughs> we get two gifts. We get two gifts. <laughs> Um, listen, this TV show is so amazing. It's one of my most proudest moments. Really, Seriously? Outside of Big Brother that? it is. Well, because I got a chance to really be with some girlfriends, people I really truly love and respect, uh -huh. who was looking for the same thing that I was looking for. We had vulnerable moments. We've had amazing moments. And funny moments. Uh, fun Y'all have me just, cry, just yeah. crying, laughing yeah. so hard at some point. I yeah. feel like we're gonna get a lot of memes out of this show Yes, too. you are. Does he make your spirit jump or your <laughs> jump?
And we also get three queens. You do. We get 21 potential, I'm, I'm not even gonna say kings. Eligible 21 men. bachelors. Eligible bachelors, yes, there we yes. go. So we get a lot of spice in there. You get your, I mean, it runs the gamut with the guys that they bring in for you. Yeah. From groupies to meditators yeah. to Professionals. Uh, professionals yeah. to players. The players from I'm, the Himalayas, honey. <laughs> I mean, a couple, of, you compare one to Nick Cannon, and you ask another in one of your confessionals, if he's gonna take you to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Well, hey, this, that's what dating looks like in 2023. You never know what you're going to get. True. You know, and, and, and the great thing about it is that the 21 men came to us. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have to go and find them, which is the hardest thing yeah. about dating these days. But you had to approach the men to ask them, hey, will you go on a date with that me? That was tough. Yeah. That was tough because I'm old fashioned and I'm stuck in my ways. But, you know, I mean, that's a part of putting yourself out there and choosing the right one. You know, sometimes we wait for the person to ask us and it's all wrong. Right. So this time, you know, I get to have conversations and choose my own date. The ball's yeah. in Tamar's court. It's in Tamar's time. court. So what exactly did you learn about yourself through the process yeah. of this journey? Well, the number one thing that I learned is, is that I wasn't as ready as I said that I was. In receiving love. In receiving fine. love. Really? Yes, yes, I had. How was that revealed to you? Well, because um, the times when, a, certain amount of gentlemen will show me some type of affection. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> um, sometimes when they would want to have certain conversations, I wasn't open. Yeah. And um, I just had to really check myself and make sure that, you know, this is the area that I had to work on mm -hmm. before I, you know, just branched myself out a little bit further. I can't understand. You are a woman of certain notoriety yes. and you think probably you put up these defense mechanisms because you don't want people's motives are. No. And you never know. And sometimes you never know until you're knee deep and then it's too late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and at this big age, I don't want to make the same mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> at this big age, honey. I'm looking for an amazing partner, yeah. a good friend, um, a good um, bonus person to my son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, someone who I can bounce ideas off of and grow with and grow old with. And you know, a for lifer, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, and if yeah. marriage is part of the equation, great. And if great, it's not, if it's not, okay. So speaking of <laughs> Mr. Logan here. He's almost he's 10. <laughs> almost 10. So what did he make of Mama going on a reality show? Today. Uh, well, at first he was not here for it. Really? Yes. Um, and the biggest thing about, you know, being a single mother to a son, uh -huh. they want us to find a man. <laughs> they yes, really do. He does? He really, truly Aww. wanted me to find uh, my, my life partner. Uh -huh. And I had to remind him, like, well, you know, mommy can't find him in the house with you. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to go. That's when he opened up the, to the idea because ultimately our, our children wants us to be happy. That's comforting, yeah, it is. you know, to know that it's not something that he's holding against you or a grudge or... Nope, although he's picky. Well, that's a good thing. Hello. <laughs> he's He wants me to be happy. What about your exes? Have they yes. weighed in on you taking part in a reality dating show? Uh, yes, they what, have. What, were the, what was their two cents? Well, the first one, um, He's very overprotective. He's really definitely taken the role as big brother, which okay. is very weird. Uh-huh. But okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> because he's a family member. Uh -huh. And so his his biggest thing was for me to be careful about motives mm -hmm. and other people's objectives. Um, because he too wants me to find love. And um, he was very, very supportive. Really? And the second one was like, I have no idea what you're doing <laughs> and why you're doing this. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so. You are leading me on this path to find Hello, love. Hello, it's are all the reason why, why I'm here in the situation anyway. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I also love that Holly and Rodney are oh, at the man, forefront yeah. of you know hosting, navigating this ship with y'all. Holly just seems like one of the girls. And I also love seeing the relationships it seems that you formed with Evelyn and yeah. Nivia because you're a girl that has grown up with a house full of sisters yeah. and this just seems to be like another extension of that in a I sense. have two more. Yeah. <laughs> two more bonus sisters. Well, three more bonus sisters and a brother. Yes. Um, listen, the relationships, I, I think, surpass all of my understanding as to what I truly needed in that moment. Yeah. I needed 
Evelyn, I needed Nivea, I needed Rodney, I needed Holly in that moment in my life to really funnel through all of my biggest fears. Yes. Yeah. So even if Tamar's not walking away with a man, she walked away with four oh, man. awesome new Some friends. Oh man, some lifelong friends. And Holly and Rodney was such a huge blessing because they had been through it. Mm -hmm. And they were very open about you know their challenges and their relationship. And it really did help us um, that the person that we were supposed to end up with or not.